Hello everyone. Okay, this video, as you can see, titled uh, "Stay Humble," and I thought it would be inter interesting video to make, um, interesting topic to talk about. And um, yeah, it's 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 uh, <laughs> it's very important to stay humble, but not just not just uh, for languages, for anything. But I understand that like a lot of people. Um, they're proud of their accomplishments. Like, I'm proud of my accomplishments. And most people, they can't control themselves. They want to boast about it, you know, and make certain claims. Which, you know, it's, it's understandable. Some people just can't control themselves. But I think it's best to um, try to control yourself and stay humble about it. Because I think it's the best feeling. The best feeling is is, is knowing that you are you have a certain ability in something. But you stay humble about it. You don't brag or, you know, look at this, I got that. You know, the best that's the best feeling. That's probably the, it's, it feels great. Now, um, I was thinking about a lot of, a lot of stuff you know, as far as languages and, you know, language community and different polyglots and whatnot. And um, you have certain people out there, they make these claims. Okay, they, they, they claim... They they make these claims. They say they're fluent. They they're fluent in certain languages. Okay, and everyone has their own definition of what fluency is. So um, this is why I never. This is from the beginning. Even even when I first started making my videos, I told people that I mean I told people that I'm not like a native. I'm not fluent like a native. I'm either conversational. I have this basic level. Uh, intermediate, low, uh, low intermediate, high intermediate, low advanced. I, I like to use those terms, you know, because I, why would, I'm not going to lie to myself and set myself up for other people to find something and say, okay, you're busted. You said that you were fluent, so now, now what you want to do? So from the beginning, I try to stay humble about everything. Now, it's funny because a lot of people will, will they have their own definitions. They'll say, oh, this guy is fluent. He's fluent in a hundred languages. They, that would just be their definition. But I've never told them that I was fluent in a hundred languages. i never said it. You find a video where I, where, I, where I claim that I was fluent in any of my languages. Even, even, even in the languages that I've studied for a long time, I don't even claim that I'm fluent in them. I always say I'm either on a high intermediate level or low advanced. Okay? That's what I do. Now it's very interesting because I watched a video the other day by a user fluent check and that's probably his video it was so interesting so interesting I think that was like the best video on YouTube regarding fluency because um it's it's interesting I'm like wow that because he had this chart and he said there is a safe and then there you have this na basic intermediate and then you have the native and he said something about it's best to stay in the safe zone. And I, I, I laughed on that part because I look back at when I first, you know, start making my videos or just learn languages, period. I always use that. You know, I always stay in the safe zone. I don't make these outrageous claims. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen it. I made a video probably a year ago, maybe two years ago, where I listed all my languages that I study and I indicated the level. I, I indicated that it was it, it was intermediate. It was it was intermediate, lower intermediate, uh, upper intermediate, low advanced, basic, basic intermediate. You would not. I never say anything about being fluent in language because everyone has their own definition of being fluent in a language. So I stay safe. As uh, he as he uh, mentioned his 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 video fluent check, being safe. So um, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people can't control themselves. They they get. You know, they get hyped up, say, oh, wow. You know, and they get all this praise from native speakers. This is another thing he mentioned in his video about you may have a person studying a rare language and they go speak with someone in that language and then these people say, wow, you're so fluent. You know, so a after hearing that over and over and over, the person takes it to their head and then they get, you know, they get so confident and actually believe that they're fluent in the language. This happens to a lot of people. So, um, just, uh, <laughs> just don't take it to heart. Don't take it to your head. Like I get a lot of praise on a lot of the languages I'm learning. Okay. 
a lot of people, I, you know, I get a lot of views. People say, wow, you speak so well, speak so well. But I don't take that to heart. I don't take that to the head because I know I know that I, I'm working on those languages. This is why my YouTube channel was up because it's a language. It was it's a language learning channel, not not a not a language display channel to show you that I'm I'm able to speak these languages. This is a a constructive criticism channel for my language learning. Okay, and I've and I've and I've 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 uh, I've said that at the beginning. I've said that at the beginning. So um, these people out here uh, making these claims about speaking like all these languages. Like I just I think it's just it's probably not maybe they don't mean to do it. It's it's just that they they've been getting so much praise about those languages, so they they feel that they're that it's true, you know it's true that they're actually fluent in the language, so they may start making these claims. So um, <laughs> I would just say be humble, you know if you hey if you know a hundred languages that's good. I mean. But to say that you're fluent in a hundred languages, that's like, that's serious stuff. You setting yourself up for some serious criticism. And you got the wolves out there, they'll get you. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I just thought this would be interesting to talk about because um, we have some issues in the, in the community about this, people making claims. So, yeah, just stay humble and... Um, don't take it to heart. People praise you. Hey, I look at it as encouragement. I look at it as, I look at that type of praise as, as, as encouragement. So, um, how much time I got? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, another thing. Um, back to this praise and all that. Like, I'm not boasting either, okay? I'm not I'm, I'm not boasting about this, but I'm going to give you an example. There were, um, I think there was one, two, what was it? I think it was three times I was invited. Someone invited me. I think it was BBC. It was the first the first people that BBC contacted me. They wanted me to they wanted me to appear on a on a television. Some I don't know exactly what it is, but they wanted me to appear on some type of show and to greet um because they, they've heard that I know like forty between forty fifty languages. So they they wanted me to appear on some show and um greet people in many different languages, you see. This is and when I got contacted, it was like, wow, what the heck is this? You know, this is crazy. So, you know, I I, I told the guy, I told the guy, I was like, you know what? I'm not about to get on the show. Um, I mean, this is I appreciate the offer, but I'm not I'm not going to get on the show. Um, and try to you know. Yeah, I do know between 40 and 50 languages, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to appear on the show, you know, and set myself up. You know, I'm not I'm not my ego is not that. You know, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't take that to the head. You know, I, 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 um, yeah, I have this knowledge in these languages, but that doesn't mean that I should, I should participate in something like that. That's an ego thing, and that's another setup. That was the first one, and then like I had another one. I think recently, um, I was invited on, um, it was something for Hebrew. Like I guess I don't know. They, someone said that they. We're talking about my Hebrew video in Israel on TV or something like that. They say, "Oh, we want you to come on the show and blah blah blah." And I said, "No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to do it because, first of all, I'm still working on my Hebrew. Okay, that's the first thing. And second of all, um, was <laughs> second of all, I I don't I haven't spoken Hebrew for I don't know how long. So." I mean, why, why, why try to participate participate in something like that? So I had to turn them down. So I just stay humble. I'm not going to appear on a television show or whatever they want me to do. They try to show off these languages. And I could have, I could have got on there and say, oh, you know, have I got on there and show off just to appear on there. But that's why I said the being humble, stay humble with the, with with your abilities. So yeah, a lot of praise on my channel, you know. But it doesn't. It's it's only encouragement. It only encouraged me to learn more, you know, study harder. But it doesn't mean that I say, okay, wow, they said these are native speakers. And I get a lot of native speakers. They tell me that I'm so, I speak the language so well. But I don't take that. I don't take that to the head. So I just stay humble and um, keep learning. That's it. So, um, yeah. So if those of you um, learning many languages, just stay humble. If you know 200 languages, hey, that's good. But don't make claims and saying that if they if they're not true, do not make these claims, okay? 
there may, there may be some other people that may say, well, this guy speaks, wow, he speaks other languages fluently. That's their claims, not yours. So um, let them make those claims. Because that happened to me. I had a lot of people out there, they actually, they are saying stuff that make it seem like that I said it. But I'm never, you can go, you can go watch any of my videos. You will never find a video where any, I have six, almost seven videos. Go through all those videos. You will not find a single video where I said I was fluent in any of my languages. Okay. I use levels. That's it. I don't, I stay away from that word. Speak. I can use speak because I can speak the languages. It seems that everyone has their own definition for speak, but when you're able to utter stuff in the language, that's speaking the language. If I can have a short conversation, hey, if it's even if it's survival, that's speaking the language. So yeah, I use speak, but fluent, I stay away from fluent. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, I will post the link for Fluent Check's video. It was very interesting. I think you guys should watch it. Um, he brought up some uh, interesting points. So um, that's pretty much it. And um, yeah, what is you guys' definition of fluency? What is, you, what, is, what is your definition of fluency? What does it mean to be fluent in language? So um, that's pretty much it for this video, and uh, thanks for viewing.